La Trobe University archaeologist Dr Gillian Garvey has begun a seven-year project in northwest Victoria to find out more about the Indigenous communities who lived in the area more than 15,000 years ago. This project is looking at human occupation along the Central Murray Corridor in northwest Victoria on Ned's Corner Station and Murray Sunset National Park. We already know that people have been in the region for a long time. Our earliest date at the moment is 15,000 years, so from the late Pleistocene. Um, so there's a range of different archaeological sites. It has the largest number of archaeological sites pretty much anywhere in the state of Victoria. But the big question is, for how long have Indigenous Australians lived along the Murray River? I think one of the really interesting things about this region is that we know that places like the Willandra Lakes, where Lake Mungo is, that there's a 40,000 year old history of human occupation. But theoretically, there should also be a similar occupation span within this region of the Murray. As a zoo archaeologist, Dr Garvey's research into animal remains will shed light on what people ate and where they found food. Her findings suggest that the area was inhabited at different times over many years, as people returned to the Murray River, a reliable source of food and water. We've just come back from a recent excavation of a shell midden along the Murray and one of the interesting things that we found is that when you first look at the shell midden on the surface it could be interpreted as a big long shell midden which extends a few um, hundred metres but when you actually start to look closely at the midden you can actually realise that it represents lots of individual middens. Dr Garvey and her team are now based at La Trobe's Melbourne campus while they analyse the material collected from the shell midden. One of their first experiments involves steaming modern day mussels collected from the Murray River on a fire mound. The aim is to find out more about how Indigenous Australians would have cooked the food that they harvested thousands of years ago. Now that we've uh, excavated all these shells, what we're going to do is spend the next 18 months in the lab weighing and measuring and sorting all the shell so we can gather a picture of what people were doing in the past. So looking at what size mussels they were harvesting or collecting and what size um, snail shells that they were collecting. We also um, collected quite a lot of charcoal from the excavation and so we're going to get that radiocarbon dated to try and get an idea of what time period this particular midden dates to. This research is the first step in a long project to find out more about Indigenous use of the land in northwest Victoria. To keep up to date with Dr Garvey's research, visit the Latrobe Archaeology website.